Hello everyone. Welcome back to ServiceNow 911. In today's video, we are discussing about a most awaited topic that is LDAP integration. Stay tuned, watch the full video. Let's start. So first of all, what is LDAP? You see a basic definition. It is a software protocol that enable animal to locate data about your organization, individual and resources. In literal sense, it is a kind of server which stores the data about your organization and to be more specific, the data about the users in the organization. Okay. So in LDAP integration, we need to basically integrate the LDAP server and the ServiceNow instance. So to start the integration, we need first of all LDAP server details. So from where we get the server details, I have this document. Okay, get the server details. So this is my demo server, which is available in this website. We have user ID and password. This is LDN. LDN means logging distinguished name. That is, uh, you can say your username and then the password. Okay, what is this CN, OU, DC? So let me show you one thing. This is the diagram. So this is basically the structure of LDAP server. It may vary organization by organization. So the proper details will be shared by your IT department or LDAP team. If I have to come to the person, this one, right? We have to come by this path. That is DCCOM, DC example, OU people, then UID, BIPs. Not this path, DCCOM, DC example, OU server. So this is how we navigate in a particular LDAP server, okay? So that's why we have this CN, OU, all these kind of things, okay? After we have the details ready, now we have to set up the LDAP server. So to set up the LDAP server, let's go to the LDAP servers here. You see, create new LDAP server and LDAP servers. I already have a demo LDAP server created for you. So the connection is already established. So let me create a new one first of all. So here, create a new LDAP server that is Active Directory. Okay, provide any server name. Let's say test, test LDAP. Then we have to provide server URL. So here, just keep this syntax, only change the host name. So host name will be our URL. So this is the host name with the port number. So this is the default port number for any LDAP integration. Then we have to provide the search directory. So you know what is search directory, right? How we can navigate to the detail we want. That is the user detail. So in this server, the search directory should be like this. Okay. So let's provide the same search directory. Submit it. So it will be created like this. So now let's fill this detail. Okay. Provide uh, the same name. Test LDAP integration. Provide the LDN here, so copy this and then the password and we do not use any mid server here because we have a direct connection. Okay, so let's save this. This is connected successfully because we have provided LDN and password. So now let's come to the OU definition. This is the next part. In this example, we are updating only users. Okay, so let's click on users. So here we have to provide two basic things that is the query field and the filter. It means based on which field we are retrieving the data from the LDAP and then what is the filter. Okay. So let's click on test connection. We are getting error that is invalid filter because we have not provided any filter yet. So we can add this filter. How to create this filter we will discuss in a bit and the query field will be CN. From where we are getting this query field, I'll tell you, just bear with me, save it. Now click on test connection. You see it is connected successfully. So now if you click on browse, you will see everything here. This browse is actually letting us into that directory. That is the LDAP directory of our demo server. So you click here. These all are the records which are coming from this filter. Okay. So if you click on any of the record, you can see all the attributes available here. Okay. This is CN. I told you right in this definition, we have used query field as CN. 
you can change the query field according to all these attributes okay and then you see the filter object class is equal to person object class this one okay and then mail is equal to at the rate so it means the mail contain at the rate so you can change the filter accordingly so let's say uh, I want to do like this equal to this one now if you click on filter see if there is any record yes we are getting only one record and that record is this one because this is the filter so in this way you can apply the filter in this way you can change the filter okay so now we have this definition ready next step is to create a data source click on it so here we already have the import set table ready because it is out of box okay so now if you click on load all records so you see there are total 23 records which are there in our import set table so let me show you the loaded data these are the user records which are coming from our demo LDAP server you see click on run transform we already have a transform map and if you do not have you have to create a transform map and you have to map all these attributes with the attributes of your user table so here if you click on transform you see the success here and uh, let me reload this all these records are updated so if we go to our user table all these are the users which are coming from our demo active directory you see the source here this is source is LDAP so friends in this way we configure the LDAP server it is very simple you just need to understand the structure and configure it properly I hope this will help you in future if you have any question please let us know stay tuned subscribe to our channel bye bye